Lawmakers are back at work at a special session aimed at finding a way to deliver property tax relief to Coloradans. Democrats and Republicans have released competing plans to provide that relief. Governor Polis says he expects the legislature to use $200 million already set aside. He says it can also use the state's reserve fund and Tabor surplus. Lawmakers are expected to work quickly with the Thanksgiving holiday so close. Your reporter Rick Salinger is learning more about how this is impacting the people of Colorado. Today, he spoke with the county assessor in Jefferson County. Colorado voters resoundingly said no to Proposition HH, so the governor called the special session of the legislature to help out the people like those in Jefferson County. There and throughout the state, property values have gone through the roof in recent years. With them, the taxes on homes have gone sky high. But Jefferson County Assessor Scott Kurzgaard notes there is a bit of good news. The assessment rate and exemptions have already been improved. But he warns tax bills are coming at the beginning of the year. Taxes will probably go up if the legislature does nothing in this special session. The average residential property owner in Jeffco may be seven or $800 more than last year. He added property values have gone down a bit lately. That may help in the next assessment, but right now, all eyes are on the Capitol. The lawmakers have to move quickly, with Thanksgiving coming next week and the tax bills in your mail soon. Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. As political specialist Sean Boyd reported at 5, something is being done. Democrats plan to call for the same relief in Proposition HH, dropping the assessment to 6.7 and raising the amount a homeowner can deduct from the taxable value to 50000 Republicans say the state can afford more and propose dipping into the state's emergency reserve, which Governor Polis said he too would support. We'll be covering the progress this weekend, so stay tuned.